All right, so fire up your copy of Xcode, and we're going to create a brand new project for this. So go over here to New and then Project, and the first screen you should see is this right here. And we're going to go ahead and just make a Sprite Kid game. So look for that. Click on Next, and let's call this How about Dot Munching Maze Game because that's exactly what we're going to make. All right, go over here, uh, hit New. I'm just going to throw this guy on the uh, the desktop, and once we do that. Okay, now we've uh, got our basic uh, just Sprite Kit template right here. This is not too exciting. Uh, one of the main things to look at if you've never used Sprite Kit before is your game scene.sks file. And they put on here Hello World. Let's go ahead and just delete that, get it out of there. And then let's head over here to the game scene.swift file. Uh, so this is going to be the code that basically goes along with our scene file over here. And take a look at this Ooh, all right we've got some stuff to trim out so let's go ahead and just uh, wipe out these initial variables this uh, function did move to view uh, is uh, is gonna stick around but let's just go ahead and get rid of everything that is inside of there we really don't need anything in our touchdown statements or our touches moved so let's go ahead and just uh, Get rid of a whole bunch of this stuff too. Do, 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 do. Uh, touches begin. You know, let's get rid of that. Uh, we could leave this line of code in here, um, but you know what comes to think of it, I don't think we're going to really use it that much. Um, so let's take our update function. I'm just going to move this uh, right underneath our did move to statement. And so for right now, I would say just go ahead and kind of ignore. Uh, Forget about these guys, and we're just going to focus in on our did move to, which is basically just the, the first block of code that gets run as soon as uh, the game fires up. Our update statement, now as it says over here, called before each frame is rendered. Uh, so think about that. This is code that is running at potentially 60 frames per second, and that's got to basically just handle a lot of the logic involved with. Um, our character moving around, colliding with things, stuff like that. Uh, and then this area right up top here is we're going to start to declare some of our uh, variables to um, you know, make the game work. Okay, so once you've got that cleaned out, uh, let's do this. Let's uh, head back over here to our game scene dot uh, sks file or scene file and we are going to make a, a tile map which is going to function as just basically um, uh, how our, our levels are constructed and the cool thing about this is we're pretty much just going to be painting and erasing uh, tiles on here and uh, that's really going to be uh, the main driving force for uh, the, the code to look at to see okay uh, a dot is going to go here uh, a wall is going to go here so one of the things that they've uh, kind of changed recently in Xcode is uh, where some of your objects are. So if you um, if you remember, there used to be this whole area kind of down here for what we're going to find up here in the plus uh, section of it. And this ought to look familiar if you've used Xcode in the past. So you've got your objects over here, a whole bunch of stuff that you can drag into the scene. And uh, then some of your media items, which obviously right now we don't have any images imported. Uh, so go ahead and do this. Take out a tile map node. Drop this guy in here. And there's a mod not much we can do uh, to it right now because we don't have any um, uh, tiles imported in to, to kind of uh, mess with. But I want to make sure that you go ahead and set the tile size to 32 by 32. Now normally we'd be able to double click inside of here and uh, begin to start painting things. Uh, but we need to first uh, bring in some artwork to do that. And we're going to begin over here. Go to your assets. Uh, the folder and uh, let's go ahead and just make a new folder inside of here uh, let's see new folder let's call this um, walls and I'm gonna switch over here to my desktop to find the walls to bring in and obviously I'm going to give you guys these files as well okay so these are just uh, 32 by 32 uh, uh, PNG files I'm not even gonna worry about doing at 2x or anything like that I'm just gonna drop them on in here do, do, do. Okay, and you know, since we are kind of going for a retro look here, uh, I, I, don't, I think it's probably fine to just leave out these two X ones. Uh, but if you wanted to, you could uh, bring in uh, all these same files. Uh, one easy way to do this is just to uh, put at two X um, in front of the dot PNG, and uh, what you'd want to do is double the um, the size of them. So instead of thirty two by thirty two, they'd be sixty four by sixty four. 
All right, and now we're gonna go and create a new scene file. So I go over here to new file, and just type in here tile. Okay, so sprite kit uh, tile set. Go to next and grid tile set. That's perfect. Click on next again. Um, I'll just call this walls. And that's going to show up right over here. It's going to put a bunch of, not garbage, but kind of garbage because we're going to just toss it right out uh, in here by default. So, uh, I mean, if you did want to kind of poke through here, you can see that uh, there are some sort of neat things going on. They've got uh, some, actually some animated ones in here as well. Uh, I'm sure at some point there's one here that's got some variants. Uh, so your tiles can also have variants to their... Um, it can be randomized, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to go and get rid of that. And uh, this is getting cut off just slightly. Let me go bring this up so you can see. Okay, so we're going to click on a uh, new grid tile set. And again, I'm just going to kind of keep calling everything walls here because that's what they are. And then within that, again, I'm going to hit the plus sign. Oh, that's getting cut off as well. Let's, uh, let's make it so that you can see it. So a new single tile group, and just remember where that's at, because I'm going to keep um, going over there, and I'm not going to keep moving up the screen every time. All right, so here's uh, just one of our first tiles over here. Uh, this, I think, is a little bit convoluted how they have it set up now. So um, when I go over here to our media, or I click that plus sign over there, there's, there's our files and everything like that. Uh, how come, let's see. How come I, there they are. So I typed in wall. There's all the files that I imported before. And uh, what we're gonna do is just gonna start putting these into tiles, all right? So I'm gonna go and just drop that guy right on into there. Um, I think this is a little bit, I don't know why they do this either. There's, <laughs> fold all these things down. But really, um, all we're doing is just putting in one tile per one of these things in here, right? So again, I'm gonna do the same thing again, new single tile group. Again, let's go here and select it, go back over here. So now I'm going to put in the second one and so on. So I'm going to go ahead and do this, obviously, off camera. Uh, you guys do the same thing, and then we'll meet back here once we've got all these tiles set up. Okay, everybody got that in there. Now that we've done that, we can go back over here to our game scene file and uh, click on that tile map that you brought in there. Uh, now select walls for it. Okay, now at this point, we should be able to double click inside of here. And when you do, let's see if I can um, minimize this. That's, no, that's not a big deal. I'll just zoom in a bit. All right, uh, we can begin painting tiles. So you see if you just start you know, pressing down inside of here, uh, you'll begin drawing them. And we're just drawing with the same one that uh, initial one inside of there. Uh, so we, um, <laughs> here's what I would suggest we do first. Grab your, grab just your kind of empty one in here and start just going along and making uh, the boundaries for this, right? And I would just go ahead and close everything into one big box for now. Okay. Uh, and then, Go ahead and do this for uh, whatever sort of maze you're making. Uh, don't close in any boxes. We want to be able to get to um, you know every little area in here. So what I'm saying is don't do something like that. Um, or if you want to do something close to it, just make it so that at least uh, it's accessible by the character through one little pathway through here, right? And uh, I would say try to um, try to keep to just doing um, uh, single tile. Uh, uh, columns or uh, you know for example don't do this it's okay if you do actually but um, I think uh, just for right now when we're playing around testing things let's try to make it so that there's you know things like this going on let's see if I can right so you could go down here get out things like that uh, and here's the eraser tool so again you know want to make it so they can actually get out once he gets inside of there and um, yeah just uh, just sort of have some fun with it um, you know again it's probably not the, <laughs> I made a bunch of G's here didn't I uh, you can always change things later on and uh, really just going back and forth between the pencil tool over here 
and uh, the erase tool. If you want to get crazy, uh, you can randomize um, these things like this. Um, so maybe that would be an interesting starting point. I don't think so though. Uh, so I'm gonna undo on that. And then, um, you know, once I kind of design out um, my map here, what we'll end up doing is, is pausing this and you guys can really kind of finesse things by going and, you know, putting some real style onto it. Oops, I deleted it. So for example, uh, we can do something like this. Um, and spending all the time to do that is not uh, required for this project. Uh, but uh, you know, if you wanted to make it look cool, go for it. And I'd say too, since we're at about 10 minutes now for this video, let's go ahead and uh, just meet back here uh, once we have uh, designed our levels. And uh, then we'll talk about uh, writing some more code.